This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, the helmet is going to be something Jim Ross talks about on Monday night, raw on October 14th. He's going to say on commentary that Farouk's headgear was embarrassing. And he really starts questioning whether or not Vince really is a marketing genius. Uh, when he talks about putting a costume like this on a three time, all American. And, uh, you know, I know sometimes we've had fun with you talking about, oh, nobody cares about all American. Uh, but that really fits Jim Ross's quote unquote heel persona. Uh, and if you're a hardcore longtime wrestling fan, you might even, yeah, that was silly to do that to Ron, right? Well, I don't think it was silly in a way to bring him in differently and let him evolve. And it just, uh, fed into Jr's heel persona and real life persona and how he felt. Um, is there a concern that, that perhaps just plain boots and trunks, Ron isn't quote unquote enough for the WWE audience. And that's why we needed to pile all of these gimmicks on him and around him. I think that Ron needed some color and I think that Ron needed a new coat of paint or a fresh paint of coat, paint of coat. Yeah. So I think that that was good in a way to introduce him and bring him in. Well, the bad luck keeps coming. Farouk's supposed to have a rematch against Mark Miro for the IC title that buried alive the October in your house, but he has a bum hamstring and can't make it to the ring. Um, he is a little bigger here than he was maybe when he was on top in WCW. Was there a concern that he wasn't ring ready? I think there, there was a little bit of concern that maybe the time that Ron took away from the business that, you know, your, your body, when you're in it all the time becomes accustomed to taking those bumps and accustomed to, to working every night. And when you get away from that for a while, it takes a lot longer to come back. So I think there was a feeling that perhaps Ron wasn't in the best shape. Um, and he wasn't a spring chicken either. So coming back and being on the road every week, yeah, man, is he going to be able to hold up? And in the long term, he did. Absolutely. Savio wins a triangle match over Grush and Farouk at ground zero in a match that's best described as not good. Something, uh, just didn't click here. Farouk and Owen Hart are going to be in the tournament final to crown a new intercontinental champion after Steve Austin's injury. Of course, this show happens at bad blood. Owen Hart's going to win this vacant IC from Farouk seven minutes and 12 seconds. And it happens after Steve Austin hits Farouk with the belt. The idea being that Austin wants Owen to win. So he gets a shot at him at survivor series. Meltzer didn't love it though. Says it was a bad match, but it's probably hard to really judge any matches that night because that's the day the wrestling world found out we lost Brian Pillman. And, uh, in hindsight, who gives a shit about an intercontinental title? Uh, so, Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.